For nearly an hour, Antelope County officials and emergency personnel met with officials from Antelope County schools and discussed the current roads conditions with regards to student safety. A visibly tired Antelope County Road Supervisor Casey Dietrich said he has yet to survey all county roads and bridges to deem whether they are safe for traffic or not. Working nearly round the clock since last Wednesday, officials have deemed 65 percent of the roads in the county to have some form of structural damage. Antelope County Sheriff and Emergency Manager Bob Moore spoke with the Elgin Review following the meeting. He stressed the cooperation of residents in observing the no travel order throughout the county. Um, we, we have asked to continue the no travel. I have talked with Region 11 um, and their command over there and Everyone's in agreement, uh, County Attorney Abler, uh, my department, the fire departments, um, uh, and then, uh, of course, our EOC uh, command out of uh, Norfolk. Um, the roads are just too dangerous. We, we're estimating 65% of the roads are damaged in Antelope County. Okay, and uh, we're going to be working around the clock the next couple the, days to try to get yep. a better evaluation of everything. Absolutely. Um, I, I see a lot of tired and wearied workers out there, but they are not giving up, and, and um, that, that's, that's our monster right now that we're up against, is we've got to have these roads inspected, the culverts, the bridges, because as you guys know at the meeting that was shared, uh, some people have drove over a couple of the culverts and they've collapsed, not even realizing as they went over them they were going to give way. It's a life-threatening situation wherever you go on it. Yes, county. yep, and that's our biggest fear. So far, Antelope County does not have no fatalities, and we want to keep it that way. Moore is telling residents to stay off the county roads, or they just, could be just ticketed. Just make it clear that we're not going to be out hunting for people running on these roads, but if you choose to go sightseeing and you're out on the roads and you get in, in the way of our vehicles that are trying to work on roads or you wind up stuck and we have to uh, use resources to come and get you, you will receive a citation for not yielding to the road close signs. And right now, our emergency situation that we're in, we, we're ordering people not to travel these roads except for those that need to be on them, our farmers especially, that are out tending their livestock and trying to take care of their um, uh, or manage their farms and what they have going on in the country. District 18 Elgin Public Schools Superintendent Dan Polk said the school district will fully cooperate with the request of emergency officials. Uh, with the emergency county declaration continuing through at least Wednesday, uh, we are not going to have school through Wednesday and we will meet again at that time. Uh, the school superintendents met after the meeting with the county and we have discussed uh, changing our calendars and adjusting for the remainder of the year. Obviously this kind of emergency doesn't come around every now and then. So we're going to be cautious and we're going to work with the county and hopefully if not Thursday, maybe by next week we'll all be back in school safe and sound. Okay. With activities, things were scheduled this week are now basically no longer going to be held this week. Correct. 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 They are on hold until further notice. Uh, we have state speech later in the week. The NSAA is the purveyor of that, so that's not within our power. But any of the local activities are canceled and postponed with the uh, county's edict that on rural and gravel roads, transportation is not allowed. Pope John Central Catholic High School, St. Boniface Elementary School principal Betty Getzfred says this is all about the safety of the students. Safety of the kids come first. and. I know everyone's getting kind of anxious to get back to school, but you know, we, we have to look at what is best for the students, and this is to stay where they're at, stay home. Okay. Um, as a result of these changes in the school schedule, you're going to have to make some adjustments as well with yes. activities. Yes. Um, Anything we know there at the moment. Yeah. Well, I, we did talk about the NBC instrumental that is supposed to be happening Tuesday in Elgin, and that's going to be moved. We d haven't looked at a date yet. Mm -hmm. uh, there was other administrators here, and they're going to be looking at that. Uh, I suppose for us personally, our biggest concern is a state speech this uh, Friday, and so they did give us a route to take to get to state speech. So that, that's reassuring that we can at least get our kids there. And then our musical that's going to be a week from this uh, Saturday, we might have to look at that 
and look at a different date because of practice times and trying to get that together because we want to give a good a great performance like we normally do so you know those are some things we're going to look at we're also looking at we'll add uh, we'll probably return to school on Easter Monday it was a day off but uh, kind of even out our days here we will have school on Easter Monday of this year so really tickled with the response from the school administrators. They, they see our, our monster that we're up against and they're, they're being very, very generous to work with us and work with giving us the days that we're going to need to try and get this, this road situation at least uh, passable to uh, get some locations for pickups. Reporting from the Antelope County Law Enforcement Center in Neely, this is Dennis and Linnell Morgan with the Elgin Review.